Hi everybody, it's Rachel here from Scrappy Happy here on YouTube and I also go by the same name, Scrappy Happy, over on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Project Share video. This is another planner video using Doodlebug Made With Love paper collection and Dollar Tree discs. And um, so my sister is a baker. Uh, she works full time, but uh, as a little side hustle, she likes to um, sell some of the cookies and baking that she made. And she was saying how she wanted a planner to keep track of things, but didn't want a big over the top planner because she just doesn't have time for that. So what I decided to do was, um, I well, I asked her first if she'd like me to make a little um, happy planner, skinny planner, uh, that just has the months in it so she can keep track of bookings for food in addition to the things that's happening in her daily life with her two children and her work schedule. And so this is what I've come up with. I have said in lives and all those other things that my favorite paper from every Doodlebug collection is this one that has the tiny prints of everything. Now I did give my sister an option of... Uh, three different sheets and if, ironically enough she chose this one too so she got to choose the front cover so that's for the front and back uh, to laminate these I do use five millimeter or five mil uh, laminating sheets excuse me and so the inside has this cute forks and knives and then I did also buy the six by six paper pad made with love collection and this KF's crafts die here works perfectly as just a little divider insert so I put it at the front but she can put it anywhere because you can see it pokes out just a little bit here from the side and so that just flips over and looks really nice I didn't do it as a shaker because I laminated it so it was nice and durable for her and so all this is as I was saying is a monthly planner now believe it or not I've had this made for quite a while and I'm just giving it to her when I see her to to, um, today because life gets busy and we haven't seen each other for quite a while so she's gonna have to customize and put in the date so it is a July starting calendar because I just thought that would be a good time to start shoot that in June was when she was complaining about all her bookings and so this here is a bookmark I used one of my planner stamps and this was just a strip of paper that was left over from the cut so if you're strategic with the planning of the cuts then you don't you can make every paper count. So this uh, width of this cover is four and three quarters. And then the length is uh, nine and three quarters inches. So that's the measurement of the width and the length. And so just cut accordingly. So the first month is all the way here. Um, all the way to July of next year and then I've made another divider so I used this cute cupcake paper because this was her second favorite and used it as a divider to divide for the next year so this is going to work for 2021 for her and then 2022 to 2023 to keep track as I said she's gonna have to customize this herself with the papers and days and sticker if she wants to put stickers and all that sort of thing and then in the next part of the planner which I didn't make a divider it's just at the back is I have printed a whole bunch of um, grid, different types of grid so I have lined I have big grid dot paper um, list lines um, smaller grid all just mixed up just so that she can use as writing paper for recipes and all that sort of thing uh, she just said she wanted it simple she didn't want a fancy fancy big planner because it's just manageable and so this is just going to be a nice little gift to give to her today and top it all off with this cute little pen. If you're interested in more planners or interested in a planner yourself don't hesitate to send me a direct message over on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Let's Get Crafty and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye.